Hello! Square is a set of online business tools for independent retailers and small businesses. In this video, we'll show you how Booklog interfaces with Square, allowing you to sell items from your Booklog inventory outside your store. After the sale is over, you can import those off-site sales back into Booklog to update your quantities on hand and report on what you sold. With Booklog's Book Fair function, you can create a list of inventory items you plan to sell off-site. Booklog will record these items as being out of your inventory until you return from the off-site event and enter the items you sold and the items you're returning to your shelves. With the Square interface, you can export this list and import it into your Square account. Once you import the book fair into Square, you'll be able to sell each item you exported from Booklog and track the sales for each of those items. We don't discuss the process for selling items in Square in this video, but Square does have a very robust support center that you'll find useful if you haven't used Square before and would like to know how. After the sale is over, you can export the sales from Square, download them to a computer that has Booklog on it, and import those sales to update your book fair. Before you can start exporting your book fairs from Booklog to Square, you'll need to have a few things in place. You'll need to have an account with Square. To create your account, just visit www.squareup.com. You may also want a Square card reader, which comes free with your account and works with both Apple and Windows devices. Creating an account is also free, although Square charges a fee per transaction. You'll also want a portable computer or a smart device to process your sales. This device will need internet access as your Square inventory and Square's credit card authorizations all happen online. The last thing you need before you get started is Booklog's interface with Square. This is a paid module, so contact Booklog for pricing or a proposal. Booklog's interface with Square may be our most efficient and lightweight solution for off-site sales. Because all off-site sales functionality resides with Square, when you use this interface, you won't need to buy an extra Booklog license or use an existing Booklog computer to make your sales. Although Square requires an internet connection, you won't need a connection back to your store's network or your Booklog server. You won't need to worry about VPNs or creating firewall exceptions the way you would if you were trying to reach your internal network from an external location. You won't need your normal Booklog credit card reader, receipt printer, or poll display to process sales the way your store registers do. All you need is your Square card reader, your portable device for running Square, and a cash drawer for non-credit card transactions. Before you can export your book fair, you need to be sure a few things are set up in Booklog to be sure Square and Booklog will communicate correctly. Go to the Maintenance menu and click Add-ins. When you set up your Square account, you're asked to enter a tax rate. Enter the name you assigned that tax rate in the Tax Header Field Name blank. Then enter Square in the Format blank. Click OK when you're done. If you process credit cards through Booklog currently, using Vantive or Point, you should enter a payment type called Square Credit Cards. You can use this field at the end of each event sale to report the total of credit card transactions you took through Square, since you won't be taking those cards through Booklog. To add the new payment type, just go to the Maintenance menu and click Payment Types. Use Insert to add the new tender. When Booklog asks what existing tender this new payment type should emulate, choose Cash. Enter SQ for the payment type code and Square Credit Card for the payment type description. Then click OK to return to the payment type pick list. Then click the Sort button. Adding new payment types changes the order your payment types show up in when you process sales in the cash register. To make sure your new payment type doesn't disturb this order, you'll want to arrange the payment types here appropriately and save it. To create a book fair, Click the Book Fair shortcut, 
or click the Sales menu and choose Book Fairs. Enter the name of the event in the Fair Description field. Choose a customer for the book fair. If this event or location is one that you visit regularly, you might create a customer named after it and use that as your customer here. Some Booklog users have created a customer called Book Fair, or Offsite Sales, and used that as their customer on all Book Fair events. Enter the date the event will start and the date it will end. You can also use the end date as the return date. Entering these dates is optional, but they can be helpful for keeping your events organized. Scan in the items you plan to sell at the event, entering the quantities you're taking from your shelves. You can also include event discounts. Click Process once you've finished scanning in your items, just as you would in the cash register. When Booklog asks if you want to post to inventory, click Yes. To export your book fair, double click on it. Then click the Edit icon and choose Square Import Export and Export Item Listing. In the Location field, enter your store's name exactly as it appears in Square. You may also put a check in the box for Send Book Fair Quantity as Square Item Quantity. If you already have quantities in Square for these items, possibly because your store is using Square for additional off-site events and is selling the same items in those sales, you should know that exporting the quantities you entered in this book fair will replace the quantities already listed in Square for those items. Save the list as a CSV file in a location you'll remember. Now log in to your Square dashboard. Click on the link for Items on the left. Start the import process by creating a dummy item. This item will be deleted when you upload your real inventory. Save the item. Now click the Actions drop-down menu and choose Import Library. Then choose Replace Item Library and Next. Drag your import file to your dashboard and Square should import the library in. If you get a message saying only CSV and XLSX files are allowed, check to see if your item's file extension says CSV in capital letters. If it does, Change the letters to be lowercase and try the import again. Once Square has recognized the file, click Upload. Take a look at your items and click Continue. Finally, click the Import and Replace button, and Square will import all of your item information. After you have finished your event sales, you'll need to export those sales and load them into Booklog. To generate the report that Booklog needs, go to your Square dashboard and click the Reports button. Click Item Sales and select the date of your event. Click the Export drop-down menu and choose Detail CSV. Then save the file on your Booklog PC. Now that you've downloaded your sales from Square, go back into Booklog. Click the Sales menu and choose Return Book Fair. Find your book fair and double click on it. Click the Edit menu and choose Square Import Export, then Import Item Sales Detail File. Booklog will update all the return quantities and ask you to enter payments for the balance. 
click the process button and click yes to the prompt asking if you want to close the book fair and process payments. Then allocate the tender totals for your event just as you would in the cash register for a normal sale. Thanks for joining us. Working with Square is a simple way to process your off-site sales, and linking those sales back to Booklog gives you the robust reporting that you need to process those sales effectively. If you found this video helpful, consider checking out some of the other videos on our channel.